We're gonna make some brown rice. Brown rice. Yes, sir. It's easy to make. It's supposed to be healthy. One difference is that you want to wash it. bags are the bomb. I reuse them for other products sometimes. Now, I pour the rice on a container inside another container just in case I spill and I'm getting good. Watch it. Between brown rice and white rice is that the white rice package will tell you do not wash so you don't get rid of the vitamins. White rice is fortified with vitamins. I think brown rice does not have to be fortified because it's already naturally that with vitamins and minerals. That's my guess. I might be wrong. Maybe I'll have Google sometime. You try to keep all the rice in the container. Don't lose any. Three times is a charm. That's what I do. I do it three times. Just get rid of that foamy stuff as much as I can. Alright. Right. Rice is ready to go in the pot. Here's the rice. Now sometimes, sometimes I might, I may add, sometimes I may add uh, some onions, but not every time. I'm going to drain it a little bit more. makers they have uh, settings you know the different buttons one button is labeled white rice the other one of course is labeled brown rice and I don't use either one anymore I just use saute and simmer because this is like 15 years old and that's the best way to do it but those other buttons work when they're lower and you don't even have to use one of these you can just use a regular pot on the stove top okay so you notice I didn't put any water in there and I'll tell you why in a minute all right I use I used one container like this of uh, rice and whatever container you use, just double it for water. So we're going to use two of these for water. One. Two. 
more like one and one and three quarters. I like to use a little bit shorter tool because that's the best way the rice comes out to my taste. And you're gonna experiment that is always at least one and a half, one and three quarters of the tool. For just about any rice, I find that very uh, appropriate. So. Okay, it's been in here about two minutes, not long. Never forget the salt. I'm gonna put the salt on the rice here momentarily, but right now I don't wanna open it because I want that heat to steam up the rice in there with the moisture that was left on the rice from washing it. Eventually I'm gonna put this basket with some vegetables on top made for that a steamer basket and we can take advantage of that uh, steam cooking the rice to steam the veggies I'm gonna come back in five minutes when I open this and give it a swirl it'll be well steamed hopefully that initial steam releasing from the hot bottom of the pot really opens up the grains and some of it might get toasty at the bottom, adds a lot of flavor, and of course the salt will be the master touch. And that's all you need for rice, and time, just let it go. It might take 20 minutes, it might take 40 minutes, I'm going to find something else to do in the meantime, and I will, I'll be back uh, in about 5 when this is steamed up. Okay, that rice is been cooking with no water, just the moisture that I set it with for about five minutes. Uh, normally I like to see steam, more steam coming out of here, but for some reason there's not a whole lot of steam. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, there's a little steam coming out. You can see it's dry at the bottom. Uh, and it's, it's beginning to smell toast, <coughs> toasty. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, we're gonna add the water. And the salt. Perfect. And when the timer kicks in at about 10 minutes to go, I will add some veggies in the steamer basket. I'll show you what comes out at the end later. Okay, I've just done slicing some zucchini and yellow squash. Now. Rice cooker is not showing me a timer yet, but it's been on about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these veggies in there. So there'll be plenty of time to get ready. Woo! It's hot in there. I'll be back in 15, show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go to the minute that timer kicked in as soon as I set 15 minutes on the stop timer. So we got one minute left and I'm just going to show you what it looks like as soon as it goes off. Here we go. So what we want to do is look at the contents of this. And uh, give it a little swirl. Take the veggie tray off. A veggie tray is going to be very hot, that's for sure. So we're going to need to fish it out carefully. Here we go. Now that steam is going to hit. So we want to be careful. There we go. 
you won't be able to handle this veggie. Sorry, put your bare hands. Put it away. And that's what the rice looks like. Pretty nice if you ask me. Okay, here we go. And what you do is you give it a swirl. Okay. See, there's, there's nothing burnt at the bottom. It's fluffy. It's aromatic. It's delicious. This goes well with so many things. Okay, that takes care of the rice. I'm gonna turn this off. It defaults to keep warm, but I don't need to do that. And uh, here's the steam, the steam veggies. They don't look too shabby. We are ready to go, my friends. Hopefully, you find the incentive to make yourself to make yourself some brown rice and steamed veggies enjoy see you next time